Hello, my name is Kin Farm Sing Nong Kunri. I will be reading two poems, but before that, I would like to thank the organizers of the Kerala Literature Festival and DC Books for inviting me to be a part of this prestigious program, the poems. The first one is the first one is titled A Letter to the Sky. A Letter to the Sky. The madman of Light Umkra goes to the local post office to post his letter to the sky. A letter to the sky. How much? To humor him, they say, one rupee, one rupee for a letter to the sky. He tenderly puts the letter in a wide envelope, writes down his address and puts it in a red box, pretty sure it would be delivered to the sky. After a few days he returns. No reply has come to my house. Has it come to the post office? The clerk says with a smile, Nothing has come, perhaps in a while. To her colleagues she says, he sends a letter to the sky and expects a reply. Imagine a letter to the sky and he expects a reply. Poor, poor fool. Mad, mad, mad. And they love the lunatic. And they pity him. And they go to the places of worship. And they pray to their gods in the sky. Thank you. The second one is titled Dystopian. It was written during the first lockdown. Dystopian. We groan under the weight of corona, the disruptions it has brought the fear it has instilled in every heart, the cruelties surging from that fear. Villages driving people coming home into the jungles. Cities forbidding people to leave. People with no place to stay, with no money and no food. People walking for hundreds of desperate miles, people driven to suicide. The selfishness and the greed lurk in every shop, in every street. The lockdown is a cure worse than the sickness. The fear is worse than the plague. We may all be free from Corona's fatal touch for 21 days. But how will those without the means be free from hunger, disease, starvation for 21 days? The fear of getting sick is making people die. Thieves and murderers will stalk the nights. The cure is worse than the sickness. Oh, I hate it that is true, Namir. And the worst thing it has done to me is to take you away from me. And I don't even know when you will return or in what frame of mind. The nights are pitiless. They stare at me 
I stare at them, and neither of us will ever know relief until you set us free again. The silence it has brought into the streets, the silence it has brought into the engines of growth. I love the clear skies I can now see, even in the dirtiest of cities. Change is possible. We may yet save the earth. Corona has shown us that. And it's not even as monstrous as some things I have known. If you are a poet in love with easeful death, you would also embrace it if it comes. Thank you.